Good. Here's Emmy, guys. Just picked her up. She flew in on a private jet to Bowling Green, and she's with us for a few weeks. Okay? Emmy's a pretty strong rambunctious. <laughs> So you see where we're at, at with her. We got some work to do, but she's going to be fine. We'll keep you posted. We'll get some vitted, footage, <laughs> footage, videos. This is Emmy. Emmy's our nine-month-old Dane. No training there, obviously. We'll keep you posted, guys. Thanks. Okay, so we just got home. We just pulled into my house with Emmy. A okay. couple of things we'll need to work on this weekend. She's wild. She pulls like a tank. That stuff's easy. More importantly, she has a serious fear and phobia of trucks and heavy equipment, any kind of machinery. So the good thing is in my neighborhood, there's a lot of construction going on. I'll be able to work with that. But for right now, guys, just like when I get someone show up with a private session, she wants to go everywhere, right? Very anxious, very skittish very unsure, very worried about everything. When I talk about the training starts before the training starts, I'm gonna stand here with her and I'm not gonna let her go anywhere. Anytime she tries to go in and investigate something, I'm just gonna bring her back to me and do nothing. So even right there, I just want her right here. I want her understanding that I just need her right here and that's it. May seem like nothing, right? But it's a lot. I have to do that before we continue anything else. Before we do any training, before we start bonding, I have to have her understand that when I have this leash, just be here with me. That's all I want. And if she is to go someplace over there, I don't want her there, I'm gonna let her know I want you right here. If she goes there, I want her here. That's all I want. Just be with me, okay? I need her to start focusing on me and my whereabouts. Where am I? just be with me that's it very very important it's the first thing I do when someone drops a dog off always before we head down to my house before we go inside before we do any training I just want the dog with me here and every time she tries to go somewhere I'm gonna bring her back I'm not gonna say anything no commands no nothing just hang out with me okay so for all day today day one of the board and train we're gonna just hang out We'll come out here on leash. I'll start teaching her a release word. You know, we'll do a little, maybe a little marking, maybe not, I don't know. We'll work some doorways, I don't know. But day one, I'm just getting her comfortable in her own skin being with us. She'll be exposed to the whole family. She'll be exposed to Luke and Buddy and just start getting her comfortable. She probably won't eat today. Probably, I probably won't even try to get her to eat. So right there, that's a perfect example. When she goes away, no, bring her back. Here on my foot, girl. She just has to be with me, that's it. I don't want any of that. Because every dog we get, right, what do they do? They're all over the place, real anxious, real skittish, and they're pulling from one spot to another. So I just wanna hang out with no tension. Now, if she does go away, I just bring her back, and we stop, we relax. Ah, that's what we want. Now you see, she sat, and she looked right up at me. That's all I want for now. Now we can move forward. All right, guys, we'll keep you posted. Thanks. All right, guys, remember I said I don't teach loose leash walking? That's what I'm talking about. So we're 10 minutes into our relationship, and this is what we got. Come on, Emmy. I'll have to send this to our owners. 10 minutes together. When you do those little things in the beginning, this is what you get. She's on a harness, she's on everything wrong, but she's already not pulling me down the street. 10 minutes, no work. I didn't train. Good boy. Good girl. Come on, Emmy, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Good girl. All right, Emmy, come here. Check it out, guys. I didn't plan on, on doing that, but she already started giving me something. So we've been home for 10 minutes. You saw what I did with her to start. I always talk about how I don't teach loose leash walking. So there's no tools on her. 
you saw at the airport, she pulls like a tank and she pulls her owners down the street. She's got a harness on, right? Worst possible tool. So I didn't change that. I didn't take it off. But by adding those little things we do in the beginning, training starts before the training starts, the dog starts to respond immediately because the second you take that leash, the dog knows your intentions, okay? Again, here's a perfect example. She goes away, we bring her back, okay? She goes away, we bring her back. Very important. I want her here. She walks away, I bring her back. I don't say nothing, I don't want nothing. I just want her being with me. I want everything loose. That's why when you decide to walk, they're gonna go with you. They're gonna stay next to you. If they do veer away one way or the other, you just bring them back. They've already experienced you bringing them back. Makes a lot of sense. 10 minutes here, we haven't done any work, but the mindset of the dog starts changing right away. Right, girl? Right, mama? She's gonna do just fine. All those problems will be gone very fast. I'm gonna be sure of it. She comes from very far away, and so I'm not gonna be able to spend a lot of time with the owners back and forth like I like to. So I'm gonna make sure she's extra sharp. She's gonna be extra good. I'm gonna put a lot into this dog, okay? Thanks, guys.